Wait, what's that? You said that you would buy it for me? No. My husband offered to buy it for me. No. Mom is going to buy it for me. No, thank you. My neighbor? No, but thank you. My doctor? No. Oh my God, I'm rich. Um, still no. Just plain no. Designer buys that I will never buy. Even if you force me to. Hola. If you have any stain in your lipstick. El pin de labio que tengo puesto para este video is by Pat McGrath and it's called Venus and Furs. Numero uno. We're hitting Chanel. The creme of the creme. The top of the top is this flat bag. It costs $5,700. It has sequins and gold toned metals in multi colors. It just looks to me like a unicorn had one too many cotton candies and just threw the fuck up. Okay, if you like this, it's all good. This is not by far the ugliest shit I've ever seen in my life, but it's freaking ugly. You couldn't pay me to buy this shit. And for $5,700, this shit better be made of gold. Don't give me no gold tone freaking metals. This needs to be 24 karat gold at least and that's selling myself short the colors are not bad i love pinks i love corals I just feel like the kaleidoscope the multi colors of all these colors together in one item in one bag is just too much for me to bear numero dos let's hop over to louis vuitton i love louis vuitton i would be the first one skipping everybody on the line working my way up to get into louis vuitton the starboard wedge sandal do you think I'm gonna go to freaking Louis Vuitton to buy this fucking sandal? This type of sandal? This sandal is so generic. You can see this shit anywhere at any price point. I mean, damn, even McDonald's that doesn't even sell shoes would have shoes like this. And for $830 for this type of shoe, I would never go to Louis Vuitton to buy the most boring freaking sandal ever. And the only thing that makes this different is that it has Louis Vuitton posted all over it. Wow. Número tres. Bottega Veneta. Now, it pains me to say this because Bottega Veneta to me never does any, anything wrong. That freaking brand is on fire. If I can go in there and drop five G's in one fucking day, I will record it, don't worry. But I will be in heaven. Everything they have is fire, except for this fucking beast. What the hell is this? Huh? Explain this to me. This is a scarf, a Teddy Shearling scarf. Yes, Teddy Shearling is super warm, it's the bomb. We know that it's luxe and it will keep us warm. But are you looking at what I'm looking at? This looks like a fucking animal. This is giving me beaver vibes. And to add more insult to this injury, it costs $1,650. Does this not look like a beaver? I would never buy this even if you gave it to me free. Number four, Fendi darling. Feast your eyes in this bag. The baguette darling, I can't even eat this shit. This costs $3,290. That is one expensive baguette that I would eat rather than sport. This is a cotton bag, a fucking cotton bag. Buy a bag like this? I feel like it's missing something. I mean, it's missing personality, color. I will not be giving over three Gs on a purse made out of fucking cotton. As a matter of fact, I will take my gun and hold it at you for trying to make me buy some shit like this. Cinco. Balenciaga, mommy. Balenciaga is a hot fire designer. What the fuck is this? I love faux fur. Color is gorgeous too. It's the mix. You don't want faux fur with a lime green acid color like this because who the fuck is gonna clean that shit for you? More importantly, where are you going to dock your purse when you're out and about? Because I, for one, if I'm rolling around with a purse like this, I will be so afraid of putting it down or even holding the shit. This shit's $2,150. Don't even fucking look at it because you might actually dirty the bag. Says This purse hasn't even dropped yet. This is by Rosetta Getty. A net. A fucking net. A designer net. This has got to be the ugliest shit ever. And the cheapest thing ever. 
And you know it's gonna be a ridiculous amount of money. I just wanna know who in their right mind would actually buy something like this. Go to a basketball game. Figure out how to get some of those nets. Well, my mom sold, so she would put one together for me. But what the fuck, you call this a purse? Cause I would never buy this. Even if you locked me up and forced me to buy this shit. And lastly, Let's go to Attico. I love Attico. Attico's edgy, young, contemporary. So many beautiful things. Until I saw this monstrosity. This is $490. It's a steal compared to everything else I've mentioned in this list. But tie-dye. Did we go back and take a stroll down memory lane? Who needs tie-dye? I was never a fan of tie-dye. Attico trying to make it look a little bit more modern? No. I still see the tie-dye here. And I don't like the mix of colors. I don't like it. And for $490, too much money to invest on a trip down memory lane. Do you agree which ones are epic fails in this category? Let me know in your comments down below.